President Sisi directs raising subsidies to the to meat production sector. The activities of the IPAs resume for the third consecutive day. Virus pandemic death toll hit 3.78 million people worldwide. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. President Abdel Fattah Sisi directed raising subsidies to meet the production sector, saying that the step would have direct economic and social impact on citizens. He said that 10 billion extra pounds would be provided for cattle projects and meat industries. The statements were made during a meeting with Prime Minister Madbouli and the Minister of Agriculture and his deputy to discuss a number of projects by the ministry. During the meeting, President Sisi was also briefed on developments to Zahra station for Arab Egyptian horses. CC directed ex exerting more efforts for developing the station in order to regain the Egyptian heritage in the field of breeding genuine Arab Egyptian horses. The activities of the first forum of African Investment Promotion Agency's IPA resumed on Sunday for the third consecutive day with the participation of representatives from 34 African countries. The forum is held in the Egyptian Red Sea Resort of Sharm el-Sheikh under the slogan of Integration for Growth and will continue until June 14th. In the forum's inaugural session, Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli asserted the fact that the African economic development can be achieved with full coordination and cooperation among governments, economic institutions and the private sector. Egypt sent a letter to the UN Security Council in objection to Addis Ababa's plans to unilaterally move ahead with the second filling of the disputed Ethiopian dam. Despite the lack of legally binding agreement with the downstream countries Egypt and Sudan, Foreign Minister Samir Shukri explained the latest developments concerning the long-running dispute over the controversial dam and included Egypt's refusal of what Ethiopia announced of its intentions to forge ahead with filling the dam during the current flooding season. In the letter, the top diplomat expressed Cairo's full rejection of the Ethiopian approach, which is based on forcing a fate accompli policy on the downstream countries through unilateral measures that transmount to explicit violation of the international laws. For his part, Foreign Ministry spokesman Ambassador Ahmad Hafez said that the letter was circulated as an official document to the UN Security Council that reveals to the international community the intransigent Ethiopian position, which blocks regional efforts to advance the dam talks. Hafez added that the letter includes Egypt's vision regarding the issue and its sincere efforts to reach an agreement that takes into account the interest of the three countries and preserve their rights. Egypt reported 711 new coronavirus infections, bringing the total number of cases to 272,491 people since the outbreak hit the country in mid-February last year. The health ministry also reported 35 new deaths, bringing the total number of fatalities to 15,582. The ministry added that 433 patients were discharged from hospitals, rising the number of those who have recovered to 200,273 people. The coronavirus pandemic has killed at least 3,787,127 people worldwide since the virus first emerged in December 2019. The